So welcome to Tech Glimpse X. Today we are going to learn about Hyperloop. Imagine traveling from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes or Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes. Hyperloop, a concept that was first proposed by Elon Musk in 2013, promises to revolutionize transportation by reducing travel times drastically and making it more efficient than traditional air or rail travel. But what exactly is Hyperloop? How does it work and what challenges must be overcome to make futuristic vision a reality? In this video, we will explore the technical developments and challenges surrounding Hyperloop technologies diving into the physics, the engineering and the innovations driving this revolutionary transportation. So now we will talk about the concept of Hyperloop. The concept of Hyperloop as proposed by Musk involves the passenger pods traveling at high speeds within low pressure tubes suspended by magnetic levitation or maglev. The idea is that the vacuum like conditions inside the tube reduce air resistance allowing the pods to achieve near supersonic speeds. It's essentially an evolution of ideas from the high speed trains but much faster, much more energy efficient and capable of reducing friction dramatically. Let's break down the core technical elements of the Hyperloop system. Core element is the pod. The passenger vehicle or the pod is designed to be aerodynamic allowing it to travel with minimal resistance. The pod is crucial for speed and safety and its design has evolved from Musk's original open air concept to more enclosed sleek forms utilizing advanced composite materials for weight reduction and durability. The second core component is the tube. A near vacuum environment is maintained inside the tube to decrease air resistance. This tube would need to be almost entirely straight creating the need to advanced civil engineering as the tubes need to be long, stable and resistant to environmental conditions such as earthquakes. The third core technical element is propulsion system. Hyperloop relies on electric propulsion, specifically linear motors or magnetic propulsion to achieve high speed travel. These systems are designed to be more efficient than jet engines or traditional magnetic levitation or maglev trains. The fourth core element is magnetic levitation. To eliminate friction between the pods and track, Hyperloop uses maglev, a system of magnetic forces that suspends the pod above the track, preventing contact and reducing wear and tear. Segment 2 So now we will talk about propulsion technology. One of the most challenging and fascinating aspects of Hyperloop is the propulsion system. The pod needs to accelerate to speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour while maintaining stability and efficiency. The propulsion system relies on a combination of electromagnetic propulsion and air-based systems. The first is Linear Induced Motors LIMs. These are a variation of traditional electric motors where the stator is unwrapped and laid out in a straight line. The idea is to induce a magnetic field along the track that pushes the pod forward. These motors are efficient for high speed applications due to their low friction and rapid acceleration capabilities. The second system is Linear Synchronous Motors LSMs. These are similar to LIMs but more advanced using synchrony between the motor's magnetic fields and the vehicle's movements. LSMs are used in many modern maglev systems for their precision and ability to generate high speeds with improved energy efficiency. They could become an integral part of hyperloop propulsion systems, improving both acceleration and deacceleration processes. 
Third one is pneumatic systems. Though not as widely discussed, pneumatic systems are also being considered for decelerations. These systems would use air pressure to slow down the pod at the end of its journey or during emergencies. They would complement the electromagnetic system providing additional control and safety. So now we will discuss vacuum tubes and environmental considerations. Another technological feat that Hyperloop technology must overcome is the creation of a near vacuum tube. The idea is simple. By reducing air resistance, the pod can travel at high speeds without the drag of air slowing it down. However, building and maintaining a near vacuum environment at a large scale presents a several obstacles. So the first obstacle is structural integrity of the tube. The vacuum tube must be lightweight yet incredibly strong. It needs to be resistant to external forces like wind, seismic events and impacts from debris. Materials like high strength steel, carbon fiber and composites are being considered for the tube's construction. The challenge here lies in ensuring that the tube remains intact in the event of a sudden vacuum loss due to accidents or natural disasters. The second obstacle is vacuum pumps. Maintaining the vacuum within the tube requires high efficient vacuum pumps. These pumps need to be capable of keeping the pressure extremely low over long distances without consuming excessive amount of energy. Additionally, the pumps must be able to handle fluctuations in pressure caused by weather changes and temperature shifts. And the third impact is environmental impact. Hyperloop must be environmentally friendly, which is a major consideration for all the technologies involved. Energy efficient is paramount. Renewable energy sources like solar power could be used to power the system, but the environmental costs of materials and the impact on surrounding systems during construction must be minimized. So now we are going to talk about safety and control systems. Safety is a major concern when it comes to high speed transportation. Hyperloop systems must include redundant safety protocols to avoid catastrophic failures. Let's take a look at the key safety features and control system. The first one is pod stabilization. The pod must remain stable at incredibly high speed. Active stabilization systems using sensors and real-time data can be employed to adjust the, sus the suspension system dynamically. These systems monitor the tube for any anomalies such as vibrations or obstacles and automatically make adjustments to the pod suspension to ensure a smooth ride. Second is emergency braking systems. In the event of an emergency, the pod needs to decelerate rapidly yet safely. As mentioned earlier, pneumatic braking could play a role here, but additional methods like regenerative braking, where the motors are reversed to convert kinetic energy back into the electrical energy would also be deployed. And the third one is automated control systems. Hyperloop would rely on a fully automated control system, removing human error from the equation. The system would rely on AI-powered predictive models to optimize the pod speed, travel route and schedule, ensuring that every pod maintains the safest possible distance from other pods avoiding collisions and optimizing energy use. Now we will talk about infrastructure and economic feasibility. While the technical challenges are immense, there are also substantial infrastructure and economic hurdles to address. Building the infrastructure for Hyperloop involves the construction of vacuum tube stations and safety systems. 
all of which require enormous investment. The first is root design and land acquisition. This, this, again, designing routes for hyperloop systems means identifying land that's flat enough for the construction of straight vacuum tubes. The cost of land acquisition, especially in urban areas or regions with dense populations, is a significant factor. Additionally, the construction of elevated or underground route adds complexity. The second one is capital investment. Building the infrastructure for a fully functioning hyperloop system is expected to cost billions of dollars with estimates of for an initial route ranging from $6 billion to $10 billion for just a few hundred kilometers. Funding source such as private investors, government, subsidies and partnerships will play a crucial role in bringing this project to life. The third is regulatory hurdles. Hyperloop's implementation will require coordination with local, national and international authorities. Regulators regarding the transportation safety and land use, aerospace control will need to be revised. Furthermore, the system must meet stringent environmental and safety standards requiring innovative solutions for testing certification. So now we will discuss future of Hyperloop. While significant progress has made with prototype systems and testing, the path to widespread implementation remains long and filled with challenges. However, various companies like Virgin Hyperloop and Elon Musk's Boring Company are pushing the envelope to building the test tracks and developing new technologies to overcome existing limitations. But the future of Hyperloop will rely on first collaborations with government, corporations and research institutions will be crucial in moving the project from prototype to reality. Collaborations with aerospace, automotive and rail industries will help accelerate development. The second is global deployment. The promise of Hyperloop is not confined to one location with ambitious projects underway in places like the UAE, India and United States. The vision for a global Hyperloop network is taking shape, but it will require overcoming significant technical and financial barriers. The third is public perception and acceptance. Finally, the public's willingness to adopt Hyperloop as a safe, reliable, efficient mode of transport will be a determining factor. Hyperloop's futuristic promise must meet the everyday needs of passengers and integrate with existing transportation systems. In conclusion, while the Hyperloop concept holds the potential to revolutionize transportation, the road ahead is filled with technological, infrastructural and financial challenges. The path from experimental systems to commercial global deployment will take time, innovation and collaboration. However, as we move forward with the advancements in propulsion systems, vacuum to technologies and magnetic levitation, Hyperloop remains a captivating glimpse into the future of high-speed travel. We have only scratched the surface today, but the journey toward a new era of transportation has already begun. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the Hyperloop technologies. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more in-depth looks into the future of transportation and other cutting-edge tech innovations. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating and stay curious. See you soon guys.